now we have condensation polymer, the only one that are tested there. We have the natural polymer, so we have uh, wood, we have uh, proteins, we have starch, we have cellulose. Those ones, they are just going to be taught to mission. In a starch, we have cellulose, we have siso. Yes. They are yes. Their names. So the only condensation polymer you're going to be tested is only starch. Not starch, but only nylon 66. So let me take you through them. These are polymers out of condensation polymerization, which occurs when monomers having at least two or more reactive functional groups at each other combine to form a single large molecule with the elimination of a single molecule like water, ammonia, or HCl. So the only polymer, the major group of condensation polymer are the polyamides and the polyester. Polyamide is whereby we have nylon six and the poly where we have ten. So let through formation of nylon six, which is a polyamide. Listen very carefully. So nylon six, first of all, it is called nylon six six because it is made up of two monomers each monomer containing six carbon atoms. That's why it's called nylon six. Made up of two monomers, each monomer contains six carbon atoms, and the name was derived from by the fact that the two monomers that made, make nylon, one was discovered in, in New York, and the other one was discovered in, in London, hence the name nylon. What are the two monomers? So nylon belongs to the uh, polyhamide condensation polymer because it's a hamine group formed when a dioic acid reacts with the, the anorganic dihamine. Each of the monomers has two reactive functional groups at each end. So we have the functional group of amine, you hear hamine, and I could have the carboxylic group, which is the carboxylic. So let's look at the, 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 look at this carboxylic E in the tonaita, exon 16 diamine, in the one exon 16 diamine, do he, which is now compressed like this. Then we have exon 16 dioic acid, which is summarized like this. I'll advise you as much as possible, possible to simply to simply write the open structures of these things. So normally we kitabu imiandi kwa ibi. So in the carbon, you know, when now we just let me show you how we arrive at these names. Diamine means it has two amine group. Where are they located? One on the first and the other one on the sixth. We get the one, two, three, four, five, six. Utapata kuna, this, we can say this carbon one. If the first carbon and kuna amine group. If the sixth kuna amine. That's why we have the name exon one six diamine. So, Elevana students, eh? Yes. Yes. After in Guinea, it's exon. Dioic acid. When I count to one, at one the carbon, one, two, three, four, five, six. Ikona two carbon will group. Moja iko kwa the first carbon atom, na yu ingine iko kwa six carbon atom. If for two, just know for nylon six, six, una exon one six diamine. Moja kutakuwa na amine group kwa the two, the, 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 the extreme ends. And the other one will have carbon will group on the six extreme ends. During polymerization, the acid give the OH that you're going to see, while the amine will give the hydrogen. Moja in a pen hydrogen E side, na e hydrogen E side. Apa kuna kabogdil group, it apena OH E side, na OH E side. Let us see. During polymerization, the OH comes of the dioic acid. Many students don't know that, that the, o, the carboxyl group give the OH. So while the, the hydrogen comes from the diamine. Let's look at this. So do he, so he it appears. Let's see. So here you can hydrogen, no, no. So this hydrogen from the amine combines the OH from this in a form much. But do not nimbili nimbili. So the other one will also do the same. So the other hydrogen will also combine with this one to form water. So normally we have two modes of water lost wherever there are two two monomers combined, and now. If you share two hydrogen, hydrogen upper, the remaining components combine. E in a term, kapa chini. 
the mono madri align themselves ndio hii akishatoka hapa na hiki toka hapa zinateremka na zina join tu hivyo tu and then you get your your polyp are you following yeah yeah inatoa hydrogen moja ikitoa inabaki free na inatoa na hii nyingine inatoa OH OH on both side then they combine things tetemusha tu hivyo tu then you get your the nylon 66 It's not magic. It is simply chemistry. That is simply, let's see. That's it. Then finally, unaeka bracket na unaeka N. Ivo. So this is the point here. Hapa, hydrogen, he hydrogen na he OH in a form match. He hydrogen na he in a form water. Then now the combining uh, element. Now when they have like that, they are free ants. They can continue combining, combining. Then now you are going to have your compound. Then we have this one. And that now the formula of nylon 66 sawa yes can i show you for terilin yes and then we call yes. it terilin now do you hear terilin is the simplest we have for terilin we have uh, uh is a polyester because it uses the it uses an acid and an alcohol that is now ester reduction that we call it an S a, 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 a polyester of course the this is what really happens we are going to have a one two dio yo he you need to one two dio because sababu iko na iko na two age group one of the first and the other one of the second then we have going to have the benzene benzene one four dio acid I think somebody will be asking, why do we call it benzene one for dioic acid? It is a dioic, means it has two carboxyl group. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, Bado, the other group is up One, two, three, four, five, Five and six. So in that kind of a scenario, we have a carboxyl group here. Equal which carbon atom? Student. This one is occurring one. one, and the other one occurs in which carbon atom? Four. Are we together? Yes. Peer to peer, sub one, two, three. But with a baki carboxyl group, you have one that first, you get a four. So depending on where you start counting from. That's why the name becomes benzene one four dioic dioic two carboxyl group. Where they located one of the first carbon atom, the one of the fourth carbon atom, and attached to a benzene. So that's why we have benzene one four dioic acid. So the acid again will always give the OH, OH, and the alcohol will give the what? The hydrogen. Let that one sink. The alcohol. Gives H. Alkanoic acid will always give you the OH. Let's get. What happened to you? What when you when I find a vibaya, the OH from the dioic acid and H from the dio. So do you? Vile lienda tu. The other one from there marginge ne. Then combining elements na teremuka. Do you easy? You just pick this one. Vile iko una teremusha apa. Now, when you go in, in the village, you go on a tram shop, on a link, and you have now your terrain. Does it look simple? Yes. Oh, true. But I do do a benzoic acid in a tram one in one four dioic. At least now you know. Even if you reach to the exam, now sir, I do a two kuchora benzene. A hexagon. Kuchora two kidinaga is a sorry. Then Jora took a market that gone evil side, evil, evil. If you watch a story, Mingi, it's how in a tongue of within one four money within five, Unanda Kuezabu, one, two, three, four, then Ukubuke, one and four. So that is called within one four dioic. Ah, you see, now when you know those things like that. You can even remember it in an exam if it, in case you forget whether it's within one for one or within one two. 
Does it make you easy to, for, to remember, isn't it? Yes. Yes. You see students and uh, yes. now that the monomers align themselves and you are able to get now finally the formula of terrelin. That's the formula of terrelin. So many students will not, will do wrong things. Eh? Many students think alcohol in a pianga hoage. So Givanya Ivo, you'll not get the formula of that. Jusato Kiaka Ivi, you are you are cobalt it and it anzia hapa, which is wrong. So you have to measure that. Just know that for mm -hmm. the two the OH comes from the alkanoic acid. The other component, whether it's a diamine or rather it's a dial, will give you the H. And that is how you get the formula of terrelin. And I think now I have I have demystified those concepts in a manner that is more easier for you. I thank you so much for attending the lesson. Uh, possibly I'll be sending the link again via your teacher so that you can be able to, uh, we can be able to look at that uh, topic of, uh, I don't know the poll, whether they are still there, but uh, I can see most of you said electrochem. Otherwise, uh, continue following up. And I think you can uh, write your appreciation in the, in the comment section whatever you want us to get, or rather maybe you also appreciate uh, what you have learned today. Otherwise, somebody with a question, uh, that's come to the end of our lesson today. And I think it was very useful to most of you. Thank you so much, sir, for the lesson. God bless you. We're looking forward to the next one. Thank you. I'm, I'm trying to- Mr. Mbaluka, Mr. Mbaluka, before you go. Hello, Mbaluka? Yes. Yes, you are online. You are online. Continue. Um, uh, we really appreciate. Uh, some of us are teachers, others um students, and uh, indeed you are rich. You are rich in 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 chemistry content. Would you just advise some of us how you have arrived to that? What as a student you should do so that you can at least because I've seen some student doing rot learning. They are just you just uh, teach them simple uh, concept. They are just there. What can you tell to uh, such students? Can you introduce yourself first and possibly where you are, you are following from and where you teach? Okay, um, I'm Richard Ntombura from uh, Bishop Jiro Girls Kangeta Meru. Kangeta. Uh, we... I've been I've been following you from 2020 because I've seen that indeed you are you are helping so many, including teachers, and I would like to be rich in content as you. Thank you. You are, were you did you attend the session yesterday? Yes, I did. Because I I think I explained that first of all, Kasema, uh, first of all, the student have to read. You have to read. the content master. Yeah, master of content. Read not fast. What you now yeah. do the, the, the note after now you have done the, the normal, the crude, the crude note, using a book with over 100 pages for a particular topic. Then now you go yeah. and simply note. Yes. And I gave an example, physical example, whereby I summarize note for a particular topic in one page. Yes. So first of all, you have to um you have to read content, first of all, much content as possible. Then from there you distill. They have, the distilling involves now rising the content. That's not for a student with okay. Sir, hello. The methodology of revision and the one hello? that today we took organic and yes. you have revised everything. You can imagine we have tackled the entire organic up to polymerization, up to so sure. and we have done it in, in less than in less than two hours. That's the topic that takes. That's organic one, and that's a topic that takes about 60 lessons. But now that's the octopus, because now we are reviving. You cannot revive if you have not read the topic. Sure. Number two, the kids need to read a lot, because I know, like you see, some of them are, are, are not even here. We started with 300. I can say in my YouTube channel, more than 400 students are still falling there. But the most important yeah. thing is to, to, to have appetite for knowledge. True. And for free. By the time I was doing KCSE, uh, when I was a student, I was very sure even I could even have defeated my teacher. Like, I think I, <laughs> I was sure that even if we sit in the same table, he, uh, I can even flow my teacher. That is the student that I want. Like, 
you should be even be having the confidence that now you are almost the same level with the teacher. You sure. are top higher, you are top notch, you know. You are the, you know, that's why I call myself an ocean of chemistry. When you even go to Sangani girls, I was in a mess school, and you go to the magazine of 2001, you'll find uh, Mr. Baluka being described as the chemistry wizard, you know. He, he, they knew like right from from one, and it is something that the students young need to read. I've read so many, you know. I've synchronized, you. and you see, I've reached up. I even know where the confusion you'd see. Like I know you can see most of the things that we have tackled today. A student had issues with them. So teacher, thank you. continue uh, following. Mr. Karani, are you around? Man, Wilfred, teacher, uh, yeah. When will you be hosting the next lesson? Possibly tomorrow. I, I, I'll be able to send a... Uh, can I please follow? No, I'll, I'll be able to... I, I, I've said, follow my Twitter handle in... A, in a, because students, I cannot give you my, my number. Go to direct. Although I gave a number yesterday, there's also another number that I gave that you cannot reach. You can still reach me for purposes of if you don't know, if you don't get the, the link. Of course, I think I gave my number yesterday. Uh, 07... To 0728951320. The, the parent can reach me. In case you will not get that link before that time, just inbox me. I'll also post the link yeah. in my YouTube. Teacher. Post the link. Teacher? Yes. Teacher? Yes. Uh, the meeting will start at what time? Nine, the same way it started today, or? Still trying to see whether I'm, I'm going to come here on nine or maybe at night. I may be trying to do it in the evening. Oh, today at night. Uh, in the evening or the, 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 in the morning. Okay, thank you, sir. I'm saying, which one do you prefer? The time. Morning. Morning. Okay, sir. At your at, at your convenience, uh, Mr. Mbaluka, we we are there. I'll try to see what I can do. But remember, everything we are going to break it in several areas so that Tomorrow. you can. Yeah. Uh, in the evening, it's also convenient. If you are available in the evening, it's so cute also. Okay, good. Thank you. Have a good day.